I am Waller McGuire and I am the executive director of the St. Louis Public Library. This is such a big project for us. We've been working on it for more than a decade. People used to travel from all over the world just to see the building, let alone the library inside of it. A very grand 19th century building based on the Italian Renaissance. That was Cass Gilbert, the original architect's thought that the Enlightenment and offering up the, the thought of illumination and light uh, in the Italian Renaissance was important. We went through a long planning process because this is such an important uh, part of the city and an important building. We librarians like to share information, that's our, our uh, business. And uh, so we got a lot of pointers on what worked in other major projects and what didn't work. And so we were able to incorporate those in this project. One of the things people have always said about this building, uh, Central Library, is that it's beautiful, it's a stunning building, but it's opaque. Uh, you couldn't see into it, you couldn't see out of it. It was sort of designed that way. The space we're sitting in is an example of what uh, we did to take that on, all of these massive windows along the north side of the building. Uh, were replaced and made energy efficient, and now one can see into the building from the outside all of these new levels of activity uh, in this part of the building. The, uh, the part of the building we're in now, which was originally the stack tower, was emptied out and became an enormous empty box, in effect, seven stories high and a block long. Uh, a whole series of restoration projects took place, and they were all done by St. Louis companies. It was astonishing to see the talent in St. Louis. The marble restoration, uh, we discovered in the Great Hall that a hundred years of use had worn that marble floor, which is two inches thick, down to the point where it was almost to the concrete in a couple of places. For a librarian, that means something because it's, that's a hundred years of people asking for help at the library wearing through stone. Um, that had to be repaired and the floor put back in perfect condition and that was done by a St. Louis stone company. Downstairs uh, on the main floor is a huge new space we're calling the Center for the Reader. It was all former staff space divided up into offices. This same size as the Great Hall above it, uh, that's full of uh, new fiction and popular material, sort of a browsing library. We've never had a teen library here at Central Library before. Teens are, are a major part of our service, so there's a really exciting new teen service space full of technology that uh, will reach out and work with that community. And the Children's Library is exciting and beautiful as well. It, uh, it's more than doubled in size, and um, it's a fun space and a beautiful space and full of wonderful things. So uh, a lot of the building looks transformed. A lot of it looks uh, familiar. Um, people walk into the Great Hall or the great rooms on the, the main floor and catch their breath. One of the things that we've always uh, looked for in Central Library was an auditorium or a space where we could have a large program. Uh, we investigated and the architects discovered that what was the coal bin could be converted into a, just a stunning, really quite beautiful theater. So the, the original building has been carefully restored, but uh, modern possibilities make it look different too. In a way, I think it, it almost looks better now than it did 100 years ago. And it's an amazing experience to step from the Great Hall, one of the world's great traditional spaces, and walk into this open, um, uh, beautiful, sleek, modern space. And that's kind of what our century is like, uh, having to have a foot in all worlds. And it's what the library tries very hard to do as well. Our traditional services are as important as ever, but every month, it seems like, brings a new development, a new kind of information we need to provide to the public. The building reflects that now.